Good evening everyone, Late Night Mega here, and tonight we're complaining about Mega Man X6. So put on your PJs and prepare for some cliches. Or prepare for the opening sequence. I couldn't understand what the guy was uh, saying, or singing rather, but uh, I'm okay with that, at least for the, uh, oh, at least for the uh, intro scene here. It's cool. Uh, it's not so cool when we get to the voice acting. Um, but the, the intro sets up a nice sequence, a nice recap of Mega Man X5, so it's a great place to start. Uh, love the intro theme, so let's get into the game. And uh, there's this guy named Gate. And let's see. Is he going to say something interesting? I don't want this to be an all text game like uh, X5 was. Hmm, what's this? Debris, but what from? Was there any violent battle here? I wonder how many people in Reploids were sacrificed. Um, wait, th th this... This is... It is this. One week later. Wahaha, now I'm glowing red. And it's finally done. I'm going mad, and it's so liberating. No, the plan has only just begun. I'm going to bring all low-grade reploids into submission with cryptic information. Uh, those too simple to understand my work. Yeah, I must be of the uh, too simple variety. I'll build an ideal world only for reploids. A wonderful world where I control everything. And I think that's my cue to stop you. E -e -e X. Hey, it's Zero. Hey, you're dead. Now you're the only one. There's no one else left to fight. Get up now, X. XX, a giant maverick is acting up. Wake up. I'll send the detailed info later. You rush to the scene. And cue the intro stage. So this game picks up right where X5 leaves off, which is great. Hey look, we have the Falcon Armor. Uh, there is a code you can enter at the uh, title screen to have Ultimate Armor instead of the uh, Falcon Armor here. And Alia gives us a nice little thing here, since the she fixed the Falcon armor from, you know, the previous game, the dash function is incomplete, it will remain incomplete. Uh, we no longer have the broken fly around, do whatever you want uh, sort of thing that we had from X5, instead we get that. Uh, another thing we have, we have the Z-Saber that Zero left behind. I thought that was kind of a nice uh, touch to add. Uh, goes along with the plot. It's not too practical to use as X. You don't get the triple uh, saber. 
But some things can only be damaged by the saber. It is a bit stronger, uh, sort of. Like this. It can only be destroyed by a saber. And you can press uh, one of the C buttons to talk to Alia. I like that design. Oh, hey, you can't, uh... Yeah, those things they had to be killed by the saber. But, personally, they're too much. And there's the, uh... The rail thing we can grab by the previous game. Uh, so it's nice that Alia isn't interrupting our uh, stage or gameplay here. It's just a uh, little beep, and you can choose whether you want to stop and listen to her or not. I'm mostly going to choose not to. And uh, here's some stuff we're just going to speed through. Whoa, hey there. Yeah, I was too slow on that. Oh. And, um... Not much else to say about the intro stage. I remember, uh, one other thing I do want to point out is that, uh, Mega Man X6 was, came out, like, within six months after, uh, Mega Man X5. And so it, it was very rushed, and I think you can kind of see that in some of the design. But to me, that doesn't excuse all of the design flaws. In fact, I'd say that rushing a game so much and forcing it out within six months, that's just another poor design choice. Uh, but now we're going to prepare to... Uh, battle the intro stage. We no longer get the X4 armor. I did mention there was a code you can put in for the uh, ultimate armor X uh, on the title screen and also for black zero because, you know, we can get zero in this game. Spoilers, by the way, if you didn't know. I like this uh, battle theme and this guy is uh, a decent challenge. But how you really want to damage him is uh, to hit that little eye thing that's controlling him and hit it with the saber. That'll do a ton of damage. Like that. Um, it used to be where I, when I first played this game, like I could not even have a chance of... Oh, hey, you're doing that. Okay. I didn't have, or at least I didn't feel like I had much of a chance of beating this game unless I use the Ultimate Armor X, because if you get the Ultimate Armor, you get uh, basically infinite Nova Strikes, which uh, actually makes the game a bit more balanced, or in your favor at least. And, uh, well, that was zero, or a purple shadow of zero. And thus we set up the premise for this game. And, oh, we have another boss battle. I I really dislike how the warning takes so long to come up. Like, did they really have to spell it out like that? Uh, I knew Zero was doing this. Who are you? Hi, Max, I am called. I'm investigating the Zero Nightmare. What? Did you say the Zero Nightmare? What are you trying to do? What is your connection to the Zero Nightmare? What about Zero? You are behind this. You are dangerous. I'll dispose of you. And now we're going to battle a guy that we can't actually damage here. Uh, no matter how hard we try, even if we have the uh, X's Ultimate Armor, you can't damage him. So just kind of dodge around, shoot at him uh, with no... Uh, plans on damaging him, but just for fun. And then you'll trigger this cutscene. Maverick content, not amazing. We will destroy the Zero Nightmare. You are not wanted here. Keep out. And then he'll just kind of take off. I could not inflict any damage on him. Hi, Max. The Zero Nightmare? Hmm. Did I dream about Zero? What is happening? You know, I probably shouldn't try to mimic the voice of Mega Man X from X4 so much. Yeah, whatever. 
Uh, let's save. And uh, here you can see this was my attempt at doing the bare armor. Uh, I did somehow pick up a uh, heart tank. I think that was from uh, one of the reploids we can rescue. And I was only able to beat six of the eight mavericks and uh, gave up against the other two because, well, they're just evil. Uh, we'll go with this one. I think that was my X only file. You can choose not to uh, trigger the sequence to unlock zero and get a slightly different ending. And now we have this Isaac guy. I Isaac. 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 Um, if you're playing the PlayStation version, which I am not, I'm playing the GameCube uh, Collector's Edition, there's uh, Japanese of speaking through all of this. And I'm kind of glad that they took this out on the collector's uh, edition because to me it it really didn't have a place at least as far as the North American release. I have nothing against the uh, Japanese people or their language but uh, you know if you're releasing a game in a region you know and you're gonna have voice acting have it in the voices of you know the region that you're uh, releasing the game in. Makes sense. So that was one of my big complaints and as you can see the uh, still shots from Mega Man X5 are back. Although I do want to point out that uh, that little intro sequence where it uh, recapped Mega Man X5 you know you got kind of a glimpse of, of what some of the scenes from X5 could have looked like if they had done like the full animation uh, cutscenes in there and and honestly that looked pretty cool why couldn't we have that in x5 uh, or in this game as well all right so there's this nightmare phenomenon and it's uh, fairly cryptic there's a ghost of zero involved and uh, X is upset where are we that this guy is like speaking to a crowd like how did how did we go from the intro stage to this I don't know but there's these eight areas that are being affected by this nightmare and uh, we're going to battle eight investigators I'm gonna call them Mavericks because really if they're going to fight us and they're gonna be the boss at the end of the X stage they're Mavericks and they're going to try and uh, Delete Zero's ghost, they want to build a better future, High Max will lead the mission, the guy we just, you know, tried to fight. Um, and some people have made comparisons to, from, uh, of Isaac, Isaac, whatever, to uh, Dr. Wily saying that he might be a uh, reincarnation of Dr. Wily, like, uh, like the uh, like the AI hologram of Dr. Light that's roaming around and building us capsules or however he's doing what he's doing. I don't know if that's true or not, but it's a fun thing to speculate on. And so we're going to investigate. We're going to launch our own investigation. So much investigating going on in this game. And we're going to see, uh, we're going to go to these suspected areas. Oh, you can't find the spe suspected areas due to a strong jamming. But when we get back to base, uh, we'll know what areas to go to. And, oh, hey, Cygnus is back too. And so, yeah, the Earth is still in pretty bad shape as far as uh, the plot is concerned. And, yes, the eight areas. Okay. Oh, and it briefly talks about the nightmare changes. I'll be complaining about that a bit later. Can we show the uh, eight? 
None of this is really important. Oh, Douglas is talking. Okay, there's the eight areas. And we'll start tackling these in a little bit. You can see we have uh, rescue. This is the rescue file. We have 16 reploids to rescue in each stage. And some of them give us, well, they give us parts. Some of them can give us parts. Some of them can give us uh, uh, heart tanks or weapon energy boosters. And uh, on the bottom, you'll also see the uh, different armors that we can have, which is kind of a cool little outline of those. Uh, so I'll see you in the next part.